What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking apart this Shimano SLX BFS. And I'm just going to tear it down, show you what to oil, show you what to grease up, and uh, show you how to put it back together. Let's get into it. So let's start with taking this little cap off here. I just kind of, this thing likes to get stuck on there for sure. Kind of use this little tool here. It's almost like a guitar pick almost kind of helps. I have a nice little tool set for all this stuff. It's, uh, it's got a bunch of cool toys in it, stuff to help you bearing tester and remover got a nice little wrench here for all the different sizes i'll link it in the description for you so you can grab it tweezers stuff like that it, it's really helpful man i will definitely link it in the description if you like this mat too uh, i just got this recently it's pretty sweet i'll link that in the description too it's magnetic up top has spaces for your screws and everything it's cool and just kind of protects your desk so all right next up is this nut I like to take like a little plastic bag or rag or something like that just to kind of protect the nut from getting scratched up. And I believe it is a 10 millimeter and it's reverse thread. So you're going to go to the left to tighten it and the right to take it off. So we're going to just squeeze to the right a bit, loosen it up and we're going to just stay pressed down on this star drag here just because it's spring-loaded and there's these tiny tiny little parts in there that are pretty nuts take the handle off all right so now right in here is what makes the drag click so it's pretty odd actually I'm gonna just keep my finger over it because it's probably gonna explode out oh boy Kind of went the wrong way there. So just keep your finger on that, you know what I mean? Just really support it. Come off really gentle. And I'll show you what, what I mean here. Underneath this is this tiny, 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 tiny little setup here. So that comes off. Sometimes that'll be stuck on the back of the handle, so watch out for that. And there's these little grooves in there. I don't know if you can see them but they go with this tiny little, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, man. It's, it's so small. It's just the tiniest little spring and little button there. And if it does pop out, hopefully you don't lose it. So really support it when you take it off. The spring goes in first and then the tiny little head um, just kind of goes in right on top of the spring. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to adjust the light for you. It's, it's just so tiny, man, so tiny. I can't even grab it with the, uh, with the tweezers but yeah that sits in there so you really want to try to protect that and then this cap just kind of sits on you want to put the groove side down because that's what it clicks into so we're just going to place that off to the side try to take care of it and there's another one of those two inside the reel it's wild it's a crazy little setup next you got the spring put that on there and i like to place things pretty much in the order that I took it off, like technically it should have been more like this. There you go. And that way, you know, it's just working your way down. That just kind of helps me out. Next thing up, we got this uh, little nut here. I'm just gonna adjust this a little more. And this spins off to the right. Right underneath it, there is a washer that likes to stick to it. It's right there. can come off. But I just like to keep that on because it likes to stick. And then I place it right on top of that washer so I know 
that's the exact way it went on. Next up, you got these two spring washers. Take those off, and once again, I like to keep them in the exact order they were on. Um, this is about the tension in your drag star. So, I mean, these are the way this came. They're kind of opposite each other. So it gives you that little space, but you can flip them around and, and make them like nested so they're the same, um, both on the same sides and stuff like that. Um, and that's just if you want less or more tension in your, your drag star. So you kind of can play with that, but I like to put it on the way it came. Alrighty, next up, we got, you know what? We can take this spool out pretty easily. Little switch on the back of the reel, take that off. Twist to the right, pull that off. You got your one bearing in there. I've recently oiled and greased this, so I'm not gonna do it, but I will show you where to put the oil. So deep down in there, if you wanted to, you could take the little clip out that's in there, but you don't have to, you can access it with your oil. I'm using Lucas Real Oil. I'll link that in the description. I'll link all this stuff in the description, all the oil, all the grease, everything that I'm using. And so you just wanna get one little drop or two down in there in that bearing you can see and what's cool is too with this bearing tester and uh it like remover too you can just stick that in there after you oil it and just kind of work it around a little bit which is sweet next up ripping that spool out there you go put that up there okay you can see these little inner workings here i just put a tiny little coating of grease last time i did it just to keep some crap out, you know, keep it working well. And let's see, I guess we'll take this tension knob off next. Comes off to the left. No spring in there in this one. You got another bearing right there. You can take that little spring out if you want, but no need unless you're replacing the bearing. Another drop of oil right there. Work it around. And then let's get this main cover off. We got three screws on the outside, one screw on the inside, and one may, I think one might be longer than the others, but definitely worth it to get a screwdriver that has this rotating top, I'll tell you. It makes life way easier. All right, so once again, how I laid everything out, when I get these screws out, I use this little area up here, or whatever you're working on, but I placed them in the shape of which I found them. So I got the reel held right side up and I'm just gonna place the screws down in the pattern I took them off. So this one was top right, so I'll put that up there. Get this next one off here. Let me see. Tiny little screws, boy. Yeah, this one's a little longer actually so this was top middle so i'll put it right in that same pattern up there it makes life way easier this next one on the bottom all right so same pattern down on the bottom there and the last one is around the back side here and then that one I'll just put way bottom left so I know casing off nice and slowly all right got some grease left over in there I might just wipe that out Any excess grease, there's really no need for it in the reel, as long as it's on the gears and stuff like that, moving parts, you know, there's no reason to have the whole inside filled with that. So once you get this case off, you get another shot at your one bearing there. You could have oiled it from the outside, like I showed you, um, but you get a better shot of it on that side. There's a little pin in there you can pop out if you want to replace the bearing. Um, then you got your roller bearing in here. Um, but, you know, unless you're replacing that, you don't really have to mess with it. But 
nice little opportunity to drop a little drop of oil there. And now we're down to the inner workings here. And uh, it's pretty basic stuff. You got the pinion gear, you got your springs, um, main gear. But this is a little tricky here. So I'm gonna show you this real fast. So let's take this main gear off. Gently. All right, and right under that you got a drag washer. And you got your little clicker kind of uh, the clutch. Uh, what I'm, I'm not even sure what that, that part is technically called, but it controls the whole button here. So when the button gets pushed down, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this out first because this might go flying. Let's take these springs off around the pinion gear. I'm just gonna take this out real fast just so I can show you this. So there's your pinion gear and your yoke. That's all greased up really nice. So I'm not even gonna mess with that, but. All right, so when you push this button down, the lever engages, and then this, when that spins, it catches onto it and then pushes that back. All that's working really good. I usually just paint a little bit of pen real grease in here. I'll link that in the description too. And I'll just give it a tiny, tiny little bit around this spring here, the little moving parts over here by the uh, um, clicker button, little lever there. And I just kind of wipe that down a little bit, nothing crazy. Underneath that, you got these gears that spin here and that runs your, um, the, uh, the worm here. Those are all greased up really nice, but if they weren't, I would just take a tiny little splash of grease and I would just kinda run it right where those two meet and just let that spread around a little bit. But they look good, you can see that blue coating on them. So all good, if yours are dry, just give them a little grease. Nothing crazy, nothing sloppy, just uh, just generous. Now on this main gear here, this is this is what's tricky and I wanted to show you. Underneath this is another one of those little spring and, um, I don't even know what that thing's called. It's uh, same thing that was in the handle. And there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that, it is super, super tiny. Right there, there's a little ball connected to a spring. And that is what makes the drag click. If that pops out on you, you gotta make sure to put that back in before you put that together. On the underside, I mean, there's like a helicopter outside, I don't know if you can hear that. On the underside, there are grooves, and that's what, when it turns, it catches that little spring-loaded thing there, and, um, and that's what makes your drag click. Inside there, you have your drag washer, and what I like to do on those is I take a little bit of this Cal's drag grease, universal real star drag grease. And I just take a little bit and I rub it on the washer. So I'll just take a tiny little bit of this stuff. You know what, I'll add just the tiniest little bit just to show you. Take this and you just kinda smear some on and then just use your fingers to rub it in throughout the whole washer. These are carbon fiber. You just want to get them, you know, slightly lubricated so they, they last a little longer. All right, so once you work in that stuff, take a paper towel and get the excess off. Just rub all that excess off because you do not want that sloppy. It's nice and gentle. Rub that off and you're good to go. So you can fire that back in your main gear there and then we're gonna place this back in really really gently this little washer is uh, like a cross shape and you'll see the four points in here and that just sits in there perfect so we're gently gonna just push this back in there and hopefully that little spring and um, little button in there, little nail head. I don't even know how to it, describe that to you. It's just this tiny little pin, really. That, that's a good way to put it, that sits in that spring. The other bearing is back in here. You can take this little cover off here. It's just these two screws. 
which is here and here. They're very tiny. It's kind of a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to do it. But if you really need to replace the bearing underneath here, that's how you would get it out. Just those two screws that pulls off and you got your, your bearing right there. If you're just trying to oil your bearing, you have enough room to get past that little cover and just slip the little oil needle right down into the groove of the bearing. You can see it right there. And then you just take a little tester, work it around once you put a little oil in. All right, so that's pretty much the whole deal with this thing. I mean, if you wanna get nuts and you gotta replace this spring or anything like that, I mean, we can go even further on that, but this is your basic as far as you're gonna to have to go um, while maintaining this reel. So let's start putting it back together. Let's get this thing back on. Make sure that's seated all the way down. I can't remember which side that went on actually, so let's just make sure that works. Some of these, it's gonna matter whether this is this way or this way but I think it doesn't really matter with this one. Just test it, make sure it works. It's all good. Same thing with this drag washer, we're just gonna add a little tiny bit of that drag grease. Very tiny. Just let it soak in. Just be nice and gentle with these washers. You don't want to bend them. Soaked in. Wipe off the excess. Now I've heard if you don't grease these at all, um, I don't know, it's a big debate, but uh, I heard if you don't grease them at all, you get an even stronger max drag, but the washers don't last as long. So that's all good, drag. Washer is greased, wiped off, and put in on top. We got our pinion gear here and the yoke. This is really well greased up, but if it wasn't, just hit those teeth um, all up in there. I might even do that for you, just because it's kind of gotten a little sloppy. I'm just gonna take a little bit off there. See all that excess that formed behind it. So I kind of put a little too much on last time, but you just want those teeth covered, but you don't have to go crazy because it all works in to itself. All right, so we're gonna slip this right onto those posts there, these two little holes. And that just slides right in like that. Make sure that's seated all the way down in there, nice and flush. And then you can put your main gear back in. And just kind of support that top as it comes in. Come on, baby. There you go. Sit that down in there. And, you know, let's just make sure, see, this gets really tricky in here. First time I took this reel apart, I didn't realize that that little spring and that little ball in there moved out of place. Make sure you check that and get that thing in there nice and straight. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. That whole thing greased, that whole thing greased, and then if it's bone dry, just cover that little spring, cover this little area. Very light coating, very light. On your yoke, which is that little piece there that goes over, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of grease on those posts so your springs fit back in and they don't move around on you. It just kind of helps them stick. You put those springs back on. All right, looking good. So let's get this cover back on. Nice and gentle. Make sure it kind of fits into place here. Over those springs, everything. Everything's locked down good. Sweet. Now we can start putting our screws back in and they're all right in the right order that I want them up here. So top right. I'm 
just really support the case until you get a couple screws in it because all those springs in there want it to pop back out you know all right there's one tight is tight top middle yeah you definitely don't want to strip these so just take it easy on them i always say tight is tight sometimes they're kind of a pain in the butt to uh get in and get started but come on baby get in there see this is where these little tweezers come in handy because you can really place those in perfect snug next one on the bottom here Come on, baby, fall in there for me. There she is. Not that complicated, you know, of a reel. But the the drag system, man, with those those tiny little springs and stuff, you really got to be careful with those because they will go flying. And good luck finding that little thing, man, on the ground. Jeez. That last one in here, tight as tight. All right, looking good. So next up, we will get our tension knob back on. Just tighten that down a bit. And I guess it is time to get our handle on. First things first, you got these two little spring washers here. Put them right back on in the order they came off. And you know, you can always take pictures along the way. Like if you're new, you can find the schematic. I will actually, maybe I'll put the schematic um, in the description of this video. Or if I can't find it online, I'll just put the picture up on the screen for you. So you can hit pause and stare at it. But take pictures, line everything up in the order they came off. You know, it can be uh, overwhelming and easy to kind of lose your place here sometimes. So. So those two little spring washers are on. Next up is the little gold washer followed by the nut here. Throw that on. This will spin down to the left now. All these things are reverse thread. Lefty tighty, righty loosey. So weird. Now you don't have to tighten this all the way down. Um, you know, just get it snug enough to take out a wrench or anything like that. But that's really just about the drag star. So that'll push it down for you. Next up is the spring sits right in there. And here comes this tricky little part right here. So like I said in the beginning, you got that tiny little mechanism in there, tiny little spring. And, uh, you know what? I will, I will just show it to you. Say a prayer for me because Oh, this is so hard to get back in once you take it out, but I will do it just for you guys. Just to show you what you're dealing with. I'll just dump it out. Don't go flying. Look at that, dude. Look at that. You got this tiny, tiny little spring. Can you even see that? Insane. Tiny little spring and a tiny little pin. And the spring sits in that hole there. And the little pin sits right in the spring, and that's what makes your drag click. Whew, God. Especially if you have big hands, man. Unbelievable. Please don't drop this. Please don't drop this. Please don't drop this. Oh, see? It is so easy, man, to drop. That's why I didn't even want to mess with it, but at least now you guys can see. Jeez. You can't even grab this thing with the tweezers, man. Oh, it's so hard, so hard. There we go, come on. Let's see if I can get this thing to drop in. Oh, I got it, I got it. You need the hands of a surgeon for that maneuver. It's unbelievable. All right, so like I said earlier, this little washer here, you got the grooves on the back, you can see, and then flat on the other side. You want those grooves to point down because that is what catches that little button. 
Good Lord. That is just scary. All right, all good. Support this on the top when you push this down on this spring because that will go flying. That will go flying. Come on. Line it up. All right. Now you just want to push this so it's seated all the way down. All the way, all the way down. Really put pressure on it. And then it's kind of like a balancing act here because now you got to get your handle on. Still keeping pressure on the whole thing. So basically what I do usually is I'll take two fingers and just spread outside this handle to distribute the weight and pressure down. And then you got your cap. It's gonna be screwing into the left and sometimes these are a pain to get on. You might have to try a couple times to get the threads to catch. Got lucky on that one. Got it on the first try. A little trick that I found here is before you tighten this nut all the way down, all right, like get it on there, make sure, you know, just snug it up a little bit. You're gonna wanna make sure that you drag, turn your drag all the way up, like get it get it close. Like it, if you tighten this all the way down when you first put it back on, sometimes it's too tight to even move this drag and the reel doesn't work properly once you completely finish here. So get your cap on, snug it up, don't wrench it in yet, and start messing with your drag. Just make sure that this drag is working. It is, click, click, click. Make sure it's all, all good. And then finally tighten that up because I, the last time I, a couple times actually, I put this thing back together, I tightened it all up and the drag was just too, too tight and you couldn't get it going. So just make sure your drag works before you tighten that all up. But. We look good right now. We look good. So now I'm gonna just completely tighten this thing up. 10 millimeter. Push this thing to the left. Come on, baby. This little plastic bag is annoying, but it definitely helps from scraping up your nut. That's nice and tight. All right, so time to get this cap back on, and this can be tricky. If this does not line up, if these, if that screw hole does not line up, you're gonna wanna tighten it or loosen it just a little bit so it matches, but it's cool. And then these two things sit in this groove here and you just snap it down like that. And sometimes it'll give you trouble and you might have to maneuver this around a little bit to get that to sit flush into the handle. But it seems to be lined up pretty good. Get our screw back in. Get in there tight, but not stripping. And that should be it right there. That should be game over. See, make sure everything works. Clicker works. Drag work. Yep. Has that nice clicking drag. Loose. Tighter. Beautiful. Tension knobs a little tight. Loosen that up just to hear that little play. Before you cast this, there's a good little trick. You hear that play and just adjust this thing tighter and tighter until that little clicking play goes away. And that should be perfectly dialed in. So now you just want to play with the reel for a minute, work all that grease around, work all that oil, oil around. Um, I also like to drop one little drop of oil in the worm over here. One there, one there, work that in. Feels pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty smooth. Everything feels good, works good. And that's pretty much it. So that is taking apart and maintaining the Shimano SLX BFS. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, drop a like, and don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.
This thing feels good. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.